This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? you back here to Morgan State, the Hillfield House, doing coverage of the 24th Basketball Academy, and Coach Armstrong, we're back to boys action. Emerson against Rock Creek, that was a strip. It's going to stay with the Eagles on their end, and uh, this is going to be a good one. Yeah. I was teasing Coach Daniels. I said he, he, he went from the warm up of Everson. He got dressed up for us tonight. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, play with that here in the city. Everson's so tough. I always said he played with a street smartness. It's not nothing illegal, but it's, it's all smart. Absolutely. Everson again comes out in the 1 2 2. Big Christian. And that's Carson. And, Tried to hunt, hunt, got, let not get the drop. The difference is Williamson, Coach, he's very big inside. And hopefully tonight we'll take a man from inside. Absolutely. Like I said, Emerson. Emerson in Newtown, that place was rocking that Newtown early this year as Emerson put off another upset of Newtown in the sense of it was their home opener after we tipped and missed. We're down to Matthews. Ball on a roll. Atmosphere turned it over. Inside, out of bounds. Ball back to the Eagles. Uh, a little too much heat on it. A little too much heat on it. Um, but again, you see Emerson's going to get out there. They're going to contest everything. And they're going to get out and run in transition. Probably should have shot that one, young fella. No doubt. No doubt. Is on Emerson as well. Absolutely. Emerson comes in with eight seniors tonight, so it should be a lot of leadership. A lot of senior leadership. Senior played in this building for the Baltimore City Championship game a year ago against Patterson, and uh, so for that experience is huge. You know what this track here at Morgan State and Parkway uh, Christian had to do the same last night against Lake Clifford. Side no good. Offensive rebound. Wow. We have a leap, frog leap. Oh, what a tough shot. Gross with the finish. Emerson got to do a better job. Stop looking at the ball. Go get it. Attack the rim. But again, just speaking of Emerson and you're talking about Patterson's ranked number 11 in the, in the state right now. And, and you know, Lock Raven High School. Yeah. Dee Patterson over the Christmas holiday. They did. They did. That's big for Lock Raven. That's well, that's they're up and coming as well. Trying to get them against Memphis Miller at the end of the month. I know they had a stumble to toe at Sparrow's Point. And they should be ready to rebound. That three goes in for Matthews. Another big shot. Line up and lead here. Rock Creek. Inside off the glass. And it went high. Trouble. Oh. The transition is going to be tough for Emerson. Right, they know how to finish, and it's an early 7 up in advantage. Absolutely. We have the Rock Creek Christian Academy, which schedule has been tough. They played the likes of St. John's and the WCHT, and played uh, St. Benedict Prep out of Jersey, and that one goes in. Good move. Good move. 14. Ron Jones in the basket. Foul call on the Eagles. 6-4 senior from Emerson. Good two-man game, pick and roll. Awesome. Amazon to tell you, hey, we's down at the uh, Governor's Challenge, took on a team from New York, took care of business, and we one of the natives down there in the Eastern Shore, so we're not a slouch either of the teams that's outside of the area. Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, this is great for Emerson, for Baltimore City basketball, Baltimore City sports period. Emerson again in football was a contender in the playoffs. We have a little history with them. That's a three. No good. Offensive rebound in the gross. Good block. 
good block by Emerson. It's interesting that, Brian Brian that Williamson, the biggest man on the court for either side, was all the way up at the top of the key. Everybody else is in the lane there for Rock Creek Cushing. Game has changed, man. Five shooting threes. <laughs> Emerson ain't gonna go away, folks. Believe that. Gonna play hard, gonna fight to the end. Shot clock at five. Gotta put it up. For three. Tip the mess. Rebound to Carson. Swings it back. Swings it over again. Side, no good. Pick and roll. That one tipped the mip. Got the rebound. Oh, got settled down. Settled down. Emerson's getting into the teeth of the defense. 7 2 lead here for Eagles. Rocky Christian Cannon. The Sellers are pulling Williamson right now. He'll get on the bench. Mr. Williamson get his mind into the game. That was a good stop. Might run eight tonight over there. Emerson has a full bench. Three front end. Offensive rebound. Got to fight for that ball. There you go. Emerson's going to fight. They're going to fight. They're going to push. They're going to make the game They're in. They're going to push in the tempo. That one goes. Troy Star. Six three senior guard. Nice layup. Nice concentration on the pass. That's a three. No good. Ah. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, got a break there. Mm. Good to be home. <laughs> Tell you, one of, the, one of the most rocking his atmospheres you could be in is down there at Everson West Side, off Everson Avenue. <laughs> that place get rolling, boy. It's, uh, it's a treat. Absolutely. That's what the The mess offensive rebound there. Inside Jones. Fighting for it hard. He's gonna fight. Lead to three. Oh, behind the back by Hunt. Hunt drives. Oh my. Inside. Got it in. Oh my. Nine four lead. I understand that young man took the game over last night versus Blake Clifton as well. Yes, he, he has that ability. Did it against St. Benedict Prep as well to win the morning basketball mixer right before the holidays. And then had a good showing down at the Governor's Challenge after they came from Delaware and had a mini stop of the top. Three ball! Missed it off the back there by Matthews. Offensive rebound. Side. That one didn't go for Carson. Out of bounds going back down. But again, you talked about it earlier, Coach. Got to go to the rebound. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. But again, what do you think about Emerson? They're going to stay alive. They're going to stay alive. going to go for every loose ball. Very well coached team. Again, Emerson represents Baltimore City very well. Oh, ain't no doubt. Ain't no doubt. Inside. And a foul is called before the pass. It's going to be the 13th foul, I believe, on the foul. Good job on the digital pass. It's got a little too deep in the teeth. Side. Mm. Oh, and Lewis coming up to shoot too. Sean Lewis, good one-on-one -on -one basketball move. I don't know if they're about all right. Rock Creek's going to be able to play one-on-one -on -one versus Emerson right now. Again, it's a good shout-out to Riverdale. Ball, 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 High School Asso Showcase in a little late in the year against National Christian Academy. This will be a great matchup between them two. Absolutely. They both do the same thing. Right. <laughs> Trey Sean Lewis again. 
Ah, in and out. Thus far, Everson seemed to handle the challenge. They're not running from the challenge. No doubt. Especially, they've been able to keep themselves in it. It has Matt. It's easy. 53 left in the quarter. Almost turned it over. Wings it. That's a three. That hits the back on. No good. Offensive rebound. Back over the floater. And hits off fly. Oh. No coach Dallas ain't got to the rebound, please. And a foul call. Oh, call on Brian Rice. And no oh, coach oh, Big Game. Oh, Let me have him here. You know, I remember a man when he was at Mervo. Yes, yes, his son. Sean was, I was, I was coaching at Mervo and he was running up and down the sidelines screaming, let me out. He became a folk hero doing that. Yes, he has, man. But again, that just shows you how much support there is here in Baltimore City for athletics and the young men that play those sports. That's a three. Got it! Mercy! The other twin. Ah, so four and zero the other twins, huh? Yep. Absolutely. Where you Emerson you don't want this game to go. Yeah, you don't you don't want to fall behind too far here. Slow this tempo down, get it in a half court setting. Yep. Don't get the offense. Quick cushion gets it back. Mervo Mustangs on Vassal in and hopefully we should be seeing them in late January against Lake Clifton. So yeah. I would say for Mervo, just for them. Might be the year they gotta do it, man. A lot of guys leaving next year. And what the basketball in that is. But again. It's not hard to replenish at Murray. Yeah. Replenishing is not hard, but I'd love to see them get over the hump. Uh, basketball and football, I'd love to see that. Football time. So close in football the last couple of years. Yeah. Getting real close to Annapolis. I wouldn't didn't go. We're down to seconds here left in the first. And Matthews drives. Three ball. This is my first time getting a chance to see Rock Creek play. Emerson as well, so. Uh, Dr. Trail, good follow. Brian Wright, right now, right. 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 I don't want to give him the right. One second. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. Christian is controlling the pace. Up by 11. Second quarter coming up here, Baltimore Basketball Academy. You know that I'm Second quarter underway to watch the eye, Coach Chris Armstrong here with you. And no doubt, Coach, right now, Edmondson got to try to slow this game down somehow. Yeah. Try to move the ball a little more in the offensive side. Half back, no good. The thing is, they've sat Williamson down for Rockley Christian. Why not be his type of game? That's a travel there. Again, both teams are really sporadic right now. Great score. It's interesting in the, in the two boys games we have between Baltimore City and Baltimore County, the county's up 2-0 in that. And then Polly Girls get one for the city. So we're not taking official score, but it's interesting to see the styles of play. And so, oh man, look out! 
Good for those guys. I'm not going to give up anything. Glad nobody was hurt there. Five dollar raise for number two. Great job, Lewis. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number three. J.H. Gross is at the line. Brock Creek was ready to get the highlight started. They were. Shooting. Yeah, like that today. Uh -huh. Not right now. Not so. so fast. Yeah. Slow down a little bit. Protect the rim. Again, glad none of those, neither one of those two women that hurt in that moment. No doubt. First shot. Got it. One thing about the public game, by the time the summer comes, they're already about in six, seven plus games. And then, as you're playing your first game at the public school on early December, I mean, that's yeah, 30 is huge at that time. Yes. And it shows when public close by is, you know. But you can always know that there are a lot of friends on the private school team, on the public school team as well. So that, you know, again, it's, it's, it's just one of those situations where you have to commend these young people that go to public school and, and take your hat off time for a lot of times dealing with so many different things. Tad, oh, it's been out. It's been out. I should have went in. 20 to 7 lead here yeah, for Rockford Trip. Brian Jones been around the rim, just got to finish it. Go ahead and dunk it, young fella. There you go. Go ahead and dunk it. Three ball. Oh, that went out. Um, Rock Creek seems to be winning the battle of rebounds right now. They are. Ah, uh, well, Rock Creek out. Their team's not bad. It seems like a lot, man, but it's just the way that they're playing. They're missing a lot of stuff. Oh, no doubt. And in my case, I've seen both. I know what both can do. Messiah got it in. Go Both already a couple times on what both can do. There you go. There you go. Take it. Ah. Again, able to stop that one. That's the three. Tip the miss. Most of you haven't said you want Black Creek Christian to take more jumpers like that. You, you Emerson, you want to play the high little game just like you just played. Tell my girls. space in the middle. Foul on the floor. Tell my girls in the girls game. Left hand side of the basket. Shoot the ball to left hand. There you go. And the last possession. Brian. But it was a good move. So it's something to, to build off of. Right now, Rock Creek is switching everything. So you're going to get the high low, the big, small mismatch. At some point, you just got to find it and make the right pass. Five forty three left in the half. Twenty two seven gain. That's a turnover. Back comes the Eagles. The screen. Counted in one. Up here. But you notice, so far, the only people shooting threes for Rock Creek are the two twins. Everybody else is playing downhill to the basket. Might be something that Emerson needs to take a look at. Send us back off some and push up some. That's a good move. Definitely. And there goes Tyke Williamson back in the game. We'll see Woodlawn in the third day of the Basketball Academy. Hit them all. Get shot to hit. There you go. Good shot. Around. So Nelson with a big three. Slow it down some. Good. Inside Williamson. That's what he can do. 27 to 10. The lead to 17. It's a big boy move. It was. Big boy rebound too. It was. Nelson again from deep. That's it. There you go. There you go. Now we're heating up. Now we're heating up. I'll take Nelson. That was him. We've been striking distance. Over. 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 
six on the shot clock. Good defensive possession for Emerson right now. Staying down on their man. Oh, the door opened yes. up. Left goes in. The two on one basketball right there. Nelson, Nelson is red hot. Now so you can get out a little more. Now we'll be cooking with some more. Hey, if you think Emerson ain't gonna make runs and push, <laughs> you're sadly mistaken. No doubt. You know, and he's shooting good shots and right in the floor of the offense is not doing too much. Again, I just love to see Emerson move the ball like that. Find an open guy as opposed to so much one-on-one -on -one guy. Talking about some history here. The last one, Academy teams has been undefeated. Great Clifton, for example, beating St. Francis here in 1909. Uh, City in that undefeated streak. I think it was what, back in 14, they had a game here. Okay. Undefeated, and then the City Knights coming up after this one at 10 and 0, getting Memphis Mill. And for Coach White and Memphis Mill, they lost four out of five. They're going to try to find themselves. Can a win tonight against City? Boost them up a uh, fellow 3A school, by the way. Yep. One against each other. Well, I'll say this. Love being in this gym. And that I need four years. I'm three and one in this gym. This gym's good to us again. So, again, it's good to have high school teams come through here in this environment, in this atmosphere. It just, again, says a lot for basketball in Baltimore. Not about it. You guys had them against Fourth Park a year ago. Speaking of that. Yeah. Fake sit inside. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's what you want to take. That's, that's it. Great shot. Move the ball. Move the ball. Take some of those big long guards. Move the ball, get open shots. I think now Emerson's realizing that we can play with him. Oh no that. Yeah, we, they realize they can play with him now. Hang. Trouble. That's right. Put them at the line, make them shoot a pair. Big strong move. Foul call red storm number 14, Ron Jones. That's his second personal foul. Team foul. Because if he would have turned, he would have traveled. So. But the, the great thing was, now he recognized a double. Uh, who's been hot for us? Uh, Mr. Nelson is the guy that made the entry fee. Get it back to him, let him go up with it one more time. There you go. Three there. Yeah, Williamson. In and out. That was not a bad shot attempt. Not at all. Good rebound. Time. Bang bang. Took the miss. Offensive rebound though. Locked away. Why wouldn't send the ball stays with the wrist on? Williamson got it in. Oh my goodness. I don't know what you're gonna do about all that size. Ain't man. much, yeah. I, I was saying it ain't much. You can do. It's gonna be hard. But again, Emerson's not gonna lay down, man. They're gonna, oh, they're gonna scrap and go. No, they're not gonna do that. Inside. Woo! Man, Lewis tried to jam it. He gets it back now. Shot they're gonna scrap. 
And then stop if he's on the floor, they're going to go get it. A lot of dribbling. A lot of dribbling. Got to pass that one and side blocked away. Right into the hands of Williams. Up the court. Just took his eyes off that. Gross is going to say, man, I had two points. Yep. right now they're rejected about coming out right now. But again, it's about the team and not about you. Just stay tough, man. You're only down 13. And what people thought was gonna be a true blowout early. Now sudden to the rack and got it man. But that's created by him shooting yeah, the threes early. Yeah. They had to defend the three so some space in the lane. Nice dip pass and a finish. That's a three, no good. Davidson back in position for the rebound. Numbers for the Eagles. That's a three, no good. I don't know if that's the shot coach wanted right there. Yeah, I, they bailed the defense out. Uh, and then, so it's, hey, Trey Sean Lewis, the young man that got some bunnies, man, he can jump. Out of bounds, ball stays with uh, Rockford Christian. Uh, the folks that haven't they necessarily maybe seen them. I've seen them twice. All right, and boy, they are a competitive bunch. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Down by 11, man. You know, started off very, very slow for Emerson, and now they're right here in this game. Shot clock ain't clock. About a eight second difference. They got Williamson on an angle. That's why that one just dropped. Emerson cut this in the single digits. Tried to pick a roll. I thought he should have shot that. Shoot that young girl. Got it in there at the buzzer. Williams with the two, half-time, 37 point for the eight. I'm going to send out of this one yet, folks, another to PWG. So we're there about second half coming your way. And you got to go. Emerson's now 32 right now. This is where they were. That's the three and four. They just got to go ahead and push and fight. Now they know they can play with them. Just go ahead and play. Definitely. Second half coming up after this. Back here the game action, the Marsh out here with you. Goes off stone, he's joining me right now. Three, no good. The travel. Let's see. So just 
just like that, both teams turn over the ball each, and Emerson gets it back. Absolutely. After a short uh, halftime period. Yeah, no kidding, buddy. Might need oxygen at this point with these halftime. It's tough for an old man like me. Wow. Two shots coming up here. And close to Abbotsford. Somewhat bad for Justin. Trying to make this a one-on-one -on -one game because it plays right into the hands of the Eagles. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, Emerson got some good players. Uh, Mr. Nelson, and you got you know, Mr. Lewis, and you got Mr. Rice. Those, those three young men, they can really play the game basketball, and they get up and down the floor. And they, they're very athletic. Very, very athletic. Such a shot. Ah! In and out. Williamson. Good. He was moving a lot, but the ball didn't elevate. Absolutely. I thought Evans should have got out of range just now. Oh, well, he lost a hand. Here we go. Good D and D. Now see if Evanson can take advantage of it. On this Everson's end. playing four on five right now. And reach in. Don't really know if Rock Creek wanted that foul. They were going out like that again. Six fifty left there in the third. Second half, second half off kind of a slow pace right now. Both teams trying to get acclimated to it again. But then mess. Offensive rebound. Kind of surprised. I thought he was going with the one on the two-on-one game with uh, Williamson inside. Williamson grabs the board. Back over. Got the roll to go. Basket game, Matthews. Matthews with it. 39, 25. Yep. Emerson got to get into some kind of offensive rotation right now. Move the ball and let the ball die. A lot of dribbling. Very stagnant right now. It is. They're trying to get in that mid-range, but Rock Creek will not let them do it. Three did not go. Not a lot of offensive flow right now for Emerson. Man. Malik Carson with the putback. I would be surprised right now if Emerson Cole calls a timeout. A light of fire under his team a little bit. The pace of this game is definitely slow. Second call in the lane. Yeah, you look at Emerson's body language right now, man. They're kind of lifeless right now. They don't have the same energy that they had earlier. I feel the short halftime period might have cooled the fire, even though it was short. Nice pass by Williamson. Yeah. Said a time I was coming, and Lee's moved up to 18 now. The so why is my Yeah, I think right now Reese Jefferson is really frustrated by the uh, three-second call that he got on this end. Down here, but right now you just need to settle down, coach his kids. Don't worry about what the officials are doing. If you can't see you doing it, then they're gonna start whining and complaining. If you're ready this game, man, talent for talent, you're good enough. You know, just believe it and trust it. Get something going on the offense. Oh, 
the game of runs. They'll, they'll, they'll make a run. They'll make a push. Baltimore City Public School basketball match. Where academic plus athletics equals a win-win combination. Down 18. Yep. Wow, dribbling. And it counts, I believe. Call the charge. That was a quiet charge call, I've ever seen. Yeah. Call the charge. Referees used to get into the charge, man. <laughs> that's, your, that's your moment, right? Right. That's like the strikeout in baseball. That's your moment. Drive. Inside. Back over. Nelson for three. No good. Matthews up the court. Hunt to the 10. And add one to it. Wow. You miss, we re they rebound, they have that layup. I mean, Hunt was all the way down. Court I'll call on the way down. Rick Thorne, number four, Andrew Carell. Second personal, second team ball. You know, so you go back to the girls' game. You get the ball off the rim, you outlet the ball, you run. You have a great chance in, in the transition game. So uh, that's what Brock Creek is doing right now. With the secondary break, having, having a great job, doing a really good job of transitioning. Four minutes left in the corner here. It's a 21 point lead. This crowd is silent, I tell you. We had, we had, yeah. We can hear ourselves. That ain't good. <laughs> but they kind of they kind of feel the game getting away from Emerson right now. Rivera for three. Oh, man. That would have woke the crowd up. The neighbors up. They have gold. Out of bounds. Oh, I'm starting to get away from Emerson a little bit right now. Body language has changed. Just the tempo has changed, the pace has changed. The boost is starting to run down. Old Spring Lane over to Moravian Road here. <laughs> hey man, you look at Rock Creek, they only had what, nine kids? Yeah. Nine kids. They're running probably only seven of them. Yep. Can I hear the academy? That one bounces and no good. We all four left here in the third. Nelson trying to get that hot stroke back. He has not yet in the third. Yeah, can't seem to find it right now. That skipped a lot of hands, but I think yep. Rock Creek Christian did touch it last. T twins saw me jumping like, come on, man, pass me the ball. But again, right now, Rock Creek is just really having their way with the tempo and the pace of the game right now. The only time it's a run out is when they're, they're running. So Emerson has to find a way to, uh, you know, change the momentum and change the speed of the game. All good. Yeah, should we get in that game this year closer to Clayton Math and Maryland Catholic Championship game, I believe. Okay. We'll get to see them Monday night, that beast. It's down there in, in the WCHC, boy, I tell you. Home dinger. Yep, man. It's, it's, yeah, a lot of schools down there really, really good. Two ten left here in the quarter. I think one of the guys that usually in a good time, uh, Turner's in the game. Rock and Christian, back three goes. Oh my. Make that twin again. There go that twin again. But again, I think the game is too slow right now for Emerson. They need to speed up. 
need to run up and down the floor. Got to make that. It in. Go. Nice dab from Hawk. Yep. First one he's taking, I think. He's been trying to get down here to the basket. It's a three. Funny mess. Freaking cleared the bench. They have. Yeah, guys. Usually don't play it on him. That's a three. No good. Well, uh, I said one of the starters got to stay in because they, they're running nine. Quick hands. A lot of dribbling in it. 21-28 play here for Black Creek Christian. That could have been a walk too. Yeah, I think Nelson so went a little early. He was in the corner by himself. The ball didn't come up. Great. Again, I think Emerson is the speed to pace up. He's the speed to game. Don't let it get to the walk up and down situation. Caught on the floor. Hey, Dan. Pull up. Off the back, no good. One and done. That was his one and done on the offensive end. Ah, uh, floats it. Got the drive. Back to Rocky Christian and Stadium since the Ravens, uh, we yeah. believe, will be hosting the AFC Championship game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the football program at Live Ravens, we have a successful stand down at the Ravens Stadium tomorrow. We've had it the entire year, so um, kids get a chance to watch the game a little bit and, uh, and do a little work. Um, so it's, it's a great thing for us, a great fundraiser. Uh, I've been telling all my current colleagues about it, so hopefully they'll do it next year. Not about it, man. It'd be great. So by the time this one come out, we'll be for the Titans game, but we Yep, yep. the Ravens will be out for the AFC Championship game. Whoever their opponent will be. It's a 25-point lead right now here for White Creek Christian coach, and they have seized control of this game and have taken the crowd out of it. Right now they're just playing around having fun with the basketball. Oh man. Rebound. Yeah, they're, they're quicker off their feet right now. Man! Well, he ran out of real estate. He won hand grabbed that, didn't he? Just a lot of talent. A lot of talent. A lot of talent on both sides of the floor. And right now, we see the bench from Rock Creek. The man, Rick. 
And they have a game, actually. They got to go down near D.C. and play uh, Archbishop Carroll tomorrow in the feature game of the Uptown Fest. So, for Rocky Christian, three straight days, three straight games. But you can do that on that level, you know? Yeah. Not limited to how many games you can play. That's a three. Off the back, no gun. So it's huge that starters can take a rest. Pull up. That's it, miss. 24 now. 25 point lead right now. Side, the layup goes in. Here's Malik. Pretty tough, man. Emerson came out with so much energy and so much life and played so hard in the first half. Just haven't been able to find the offenses that make them in the space that they need to be successful. So, the ball back to uh, the Ron Jones. But I'll tell you what, when they, when they get in the conference play, whoever they're playing, they're going to come every night ready to go. Oh, they know. The teams know. We're playing Emerson. We better bring it. Yes. And again, that bodes well for their football team and their basketball team is, is doing really well. Both their fall and winter sports are very well. Still have matches with Mervo and uh, Lake Clifton. Hopefully, if City stuff they told, or Emerson Lake play each other. One of that might uh, be, be here representing that uh, Division One side and Baltimore City play. Got to feel a poly is going to represent the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Polly's, doing, Polly's boys are really good. Their girls are good too, though. Hey, it's a it's a rolling thing on the basketball court. Down there. <laughs> yeah, Polly's football team's uh, taking some bumps in the last couple of years, man. So I'm sure they're turning around and get things back to where it's supposed to be. 535 left in this one. Nelson. Got it. Remember, Emerson plays one on the third day here. Come on, Paul. Some work and strength. Five times. And the lead up to 25. Yeah, yeah coach gets a tech. Really frustrated about the foul not being called. Technical foul call. Let's go to the red door. But again, you know, cool. coach your kids up and just get better, man. I mean, I understand it's frustrating when your team can't come out and perform the way that you want to, but you want to make sure you put the game up front. Said, you know, you, you just kind of just got to keep playing, and I've been where he is. I, I went to Lock Raven, it was, it was, you know, we had one a lot, so I've been right there, frustrated and, and upset. You know, Lock Christian, you go down the Beltway, they're ranked in the top 10 in the Washington Post poll, and the uh, DM, DMV polls throughout the area, Max Preps, and yep, yep. Saturday Run Huddle. Yeah. Well, Christian team ain't no joke, I ain't said we. Our third time getting them on the Dice Road Network this year, you know, on the press of us. Yeah, absolutely. And anytime you can get ranked in the DMV, maybe ranked in the state, is a great thing. So, yeah. Side Rivera gets it. And you look and you see teams on the boys' side, like St. Francis, ranked in the top 25. And Polly, if they beat St. Francis, I would say we might be on the verge of it. They beat two ranked teams down in South Carolina. Yeah, they got it going there, Polly. They do. Yeah. They got it going there, Polly, and, and they, they understand. You know, I see them in the summer working hard. I see them in the offseason. They got a great offseason program. So that's what, that's what having a good program is. You got to do it all year. Yeah. All year round. And hopefully the MPSSA can find a way. You know, they had the live period last year, and the MPSSA schools weren't able to get in. so. So no advantage the private schools had, and you like want to even this playing field out somehow. Absolutely. Because we can talk all day about that conversation. Clip. Yes, we can. Yes, we that can. Field. 60 33 lead here for uh, Christian. 454 left, and uh, about. Number zero, Lee Carson, and his second person to foul, team foul, number five. 
Team Farmer. City Method Mel, what do you expect out of that? I saw a little bit on television. I haven't really got a chance to watch it. Um, I kind of take a little time off after football season. Man. Don't blame me. I'm trying to get my life right and, and, you know, just get some rest, get myself back into working. So I'll get a chance to see him again. Again, I'm really impressed with what's happening at my grade. And, and uh, that's pretty much what I follow. But, uh, you know, Milford, they look really good when I saw them on television. Uh, so, uh, Snide here. Monday night against City B. Houston. Yes. yes. And it's good in basketball that those teams get a chance to play. It so is. Three for now. How's that? You know, because in, 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 uh, in football, we don't really get a chance to play with them. There's not a lot of city county crossover. I'd love for it to happen. Yeah, and for them taking that extra game away in the, in the football and for, for the postseason, yeah. it kind of hurt that too a little bit. Yeah, offensive foul. Absolutely true, because basically, week one, everybody will get a chance to have that crossover. But again, <laughs> took some getting used to playing nine games. Milton Matthews, number five, catch the Eagles. Yeah, man, it's 27 right now. Let's see, I keep working. Four minutes left in the 2060. 33 lead. So we'll see them again be down the road in there. Oh! Good athleticism. That was. That was good. Hustle. We don't want fast break. Locked away. Foul. 14 fouls with the rest of Foul goal. Give the rest of them. 14. Juan Jones is his third personal foul. Team foul number four. Parker at the line. Shooting two. Foul. Look at the Ross's team. Talking about Emerson. Having eight seniors on that team. Uh, and you look at Rock Chris. Five of them. So, uh, got a little rebuilding to do for both teams next year. So many coaches right now. We coach for the here and now. For what's, right. what it's going to be. And one. Good job. Trayshawn Lewis again. I, I, I had my own Mr. Lewis in this game. I really like his game. I like his energy and effort. It's real gritty. I love it. And gritty being a compliment. Let's make sure the rest Gritty is a compliment. Violation. Violation. Yep, violation against uh, that was Wow. That's all I can say right now is wow. And the one good thing about this one, yeah, and then side, two shots coming. In the sense of playing wise. Packet City play, still got to see the likes of Lake Lipton, Mervo. He knew it already this year. And defeat the city. So we don't have long to focus on the law. No, not at all. That's the great thing about basketball. It's so fast twice a week. It happens so fast, you got to get over a loss very quickly. Whereas when you're outside, you got seven days. Yeah, boy. What happened? But the good teams, uh, the dumb bars and things of that nature. Uh, Three ball. You know, they, they get over very quickly. Turn over. Two on two. Post to post. He's got the out. Oh. Two hand block. Volleyball block. Loving block. Rick Storm. Let's say. We'll talk about day three of the basketball academy. We'll to get, but we will still have those covering that three hits. Anthony Parker for three. Five left. Guys, little Creek, they're gonna play always in the end. Thirty point lead right now. No doubt. This has really been the first brawl that we've had today. It is. Listen, I just got this is really. Evanston lost by close to twenty to City, but this is not. 
they were still in that game, and this one, they're going to be like, hey. But again, got on the, the drama. Absolutely. That's a good thing. Get right back at it. Chop at the bit. Get to work again. Well, I could cushion. They can't draw on the win either. Got to go down there, D.C., take on Bishop Carroll. Oh, you said that's tomorrow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Play last night. Play today. Yeah, play tomorrow. Play tomorrow. It's a great day. But they've done it already a couple times this year. Testament to the twice. coach. They're in great shape. Yes, he went from Delaware to the Eastern Shore and played four games in about a five-day span. Again, testament to, to, to the coaching staff of getting them, getting their win acclimated to that kind of, you know, that kind of game schedule. And also, you know, for the kid, just being able to do that. Front MS. 223 left. I love Mr. Lewis. It's just, he just plays so hard all the time. He does. That definitely. ball definitely should have been out of bounds. He made a great stop. Great, great stop. Great effort. You can't, you can't take anything from that. Over. And then, ah, Mr. Glide there. You almost want to root for it anyway. Over. Tip and miss. 150 left. Lewis again. Shooting two. Both teams playing to the end. They are. Nice team. Foul call here. Number 20. Joel Turner as his second personal foul. Team foul number nine. Great time for the at the line. Coaches in the building tonight, a lot of old faces. Good to see him out watching basketball, cheering the kids on. Shot goes in. Second shot, tipping us. There you go again. Hold it. Definitely playing, and that's how you got to do it. Absolutely. To the last. Oh, to the end. Still yeah. fighting the strap. There you go. Uh oh. Give us one, Lewis. Give us one. Layup goes. Time out. I thought that was going to be the one. I thought so too. Time out, Paul. We're going to take a pause for the cause and wrap it up, boy. Yeah, 124 left in this. Been the Rock Creek Christian show. That three, and it's good night, Irene. Wow. Joe Turner. Nick having so much fun at Rock Creek right now. Coming off of the shuffle last night, playing tonight. Walker, Walker, the Teams. Go back to Everson. Again, Everson's still working hard. Not going to stop working. Oh, Great call. Mm -hmm. Looks like Emerson has all the babies on the floor right now. They do. Right out of bounds. Crossover. 
Clock is off. Houston High. Love to see the Love to see Rocky hold the ball right here. That's really good. You're ahead of the game. Again, they work hard, played hard. This Rock Creek's a really good basketball team. They are on 1A. It's vicious with the likes of their rivals like Clifton New Era. Trying to have the grace. I'm going to say from the, from the uh, Rock Creek, it's going to be one of the twins. Um, and from Emerson, I'm going to give it to Mr. Nelson. I'm sure, not sure Emerson's going to get one because they play again tomorrow. They usually give it when they get one of them. Special presentation is Jessica Ivey. But if Nelson play well again tomorrow, he will surely from get From Rock Creek Christian Academy, today's MVP award winner is number three. Basically, the whole second half. Stirred the drink well in the first half, and could have been one. I mean, to be honest, could have been one for the gate the whole team, and I don't think anybody be upset about that. Good to see Miss Ivy out here, man. Good to see Miss Ivy out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big hand to this outstanding uh, junior. Emerson will be presented with an award after their second game tomorrow. Okay. Yep. So that's it for that. The underpinning city lights against Memphis Mel. Coming up in our finale. The Bowl of Astro Academy here in Los Angeles. Stick and stay for it. This is Die Sporting Network.